What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Check this out. Another vintage marketplace find here today. We've got the Radio Shack Aero Buggy. So this brought back some memories guys. We haven't had Radio Shack here in Western Canada since late 90s, early 2000s when they closed down here. And they closed down across Canada over the years. So we don't even have a Radio Shack here in Canada anymore. So I had to jump at this one guys when I saw it listed on marketplace. We picked it up for $25 Canadian. Couldn't go wrong. I had to get it. So let's have a look at it. So we're going to first look at the Aero Buggy on the front here. You can see some French up here. So we know this is a Canadian Radio Shack this came from. And French on that side and English on this side. Big problem here in Canada. They push that French on us like we have no choice. Anyways, what we got here, drive with confidence. Your off-roader has winning components you can count on. Two-speed gearbox, high for extra speed on straightaways and low for off-road power. And they've got a jack for charging optional NICAD batteries. Customized styling will really turn heads when you drive this beauty onto the track. <laughs> Sturdy spring suspension for road hugging maneuverability and precise steering. And it's 49 megahertz. It's running off of and a 116 scale. That's pretty cool, guys. What do we got here? Well, that's English on that side. Spring suspension, battery jack, high low gears, and French on that side. So I like how it came with the original box. That's pretty cool. We've got the owner's manual in here as well. We'll flip through it. I haven't even looked at it yet. It's kind of cool to have the paperwork to go along with it. So English, and then they'll have French like that. Enough of that. Let's get get the aero buggy out of here but check this out guys like the stickers are in perfect shape the tires have no wear on them and even you know where uh like where the seam is in the center there it's on the tread i don't know if you guys can see that like there's still the excess uh, material the excess rubber on the treads there which uh, tells me if this thing has been run it's had very little run time it's looking pretty good on the bottom there. You've got your steering trim right there. Six double A's and a nine volt in there to power the uh, RC. Cool, charging jack. It's looking good guys. There's really nothing to complain about here. It's in great condition. It does have a few scratches up front here. So it may have seen a run or two, but uh, looking at the wear on the tires, there's no wear. It's, uh, Makes me believe this may not have been run at all. Anyways, we're here to throw some batteries in it and we're going to fire this up and see if we're going to be able to take it out for a run. Like that, there we go. On off switch on the top here. Now I had some interference with the boat. If you guys checked out that vintage Thunderhawk I had on here the other day, we had some interference from the actual light here. All right, it's powered on and we've got nothing guys. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, figuring out here. But we don't have steering and we don't have any drive right now. So give me a few minutes, guys. I'm going to see uh, if I can figure out what's going on here. Maybe the batteries are just not seated properly. And we'll, uh, we'll come back to this, hopefully, with it running. All right, guys. So far, no luck with this. We checked the batteries were in the correct way. They were. Next step is you can see the corrosion there on the terminal, especially right here. We're going to clean those off and throw the batteries back in and see if that does the trick. If not, then I think I'm going to have to uh, probably crack it open here and see what's going on on the inside. Right, dug into it here. We pulled the transmitter apart just to make sure nothing was burnt up in there. Everything looked good inside there. And I also tore apart the aero buggy here and exposed the electronics. I didn't see anything burnt up there. But what I did find, we had a bad connection at the 9 volt. So let's power it on here. see we're getting it we're getting it all right so we've got steering but there seems to be possibly interference here again like i did have with the boat the other day we had some interference that was caused actually by the lighting in here but we're going to get it back together and then we'll mess around with it a bit more i'm just happy that uh, things are working here turn that off just in case it wants to drive off the bench here but uh yeah let's get it back together let's mess around with it for a couple minutes and then we'll wrap this one up all right guys thought i had it all figured out 
had a bad connection on the nine volt. I had steering. I had some sporadic power to the rear end here, which I thought was uh, interference causing the issues there. Put it all back together, went to test it out before we fired up the camera here, and nothing. Pulled it all apart again, threw the multimeter on to make sure we're getting power to everywhere we need to, and we are, and still nothing switches on. So, yeah, I'm stumped, guys. Everything looked good. All the electronic components look good. The wiring looks good. Nothing's burnt up. Maybe the crystal's no good in the transmitter. That's a possibility, I guess. Not sure. What else can I look at, guys? I'd really like to get it running the way it is, but I'm not sure if that's going to be an option now. So I think I may only have a couple options with this, to be honest. Either throw it on the shelf and it's going to live the rest of its life as a shelf clean, or we just gut it, upgrade it to a 2.4 gigahertz uh, system in there and let it rip. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Like I said, I'd love to get it running the way it is right now, but that might not be an option. It doesn't seem like it's going to be unless uh, I'm missing something here. But for right now, guys, it's not going to run. That's unfortunate. I'm still happy with the purchase. Love the look of this thing. Love the condition. We'll get it running one way or another. So let's leave it at that. You guys like this video, make sure you have a big thumbs up, new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. See you on the next one. See ya. Don't think I'm dead, I'm